violence. This I could talk about, the violence. Uh, and um, despite a certain analysis. I mean, each of these I could speak for one hour about. Yeah, yeah. But easily. Well, why don't we, you would like to, I mean, would it be a problem if we just concentrated on one of these? Yeah. It's, it's not a problem for you? It's not a problem. Okay. So we start about this and, uh, and you can stop me and... Number one. Well, I think so. Let's, let's start with this uh, topic of of uh, communications and democracy. Uh -huh. Yeah? De la Universidad de Westminster. Professor King, mm. Professor King, uh, what are the, the relation between free speech and in a real democracy? It is, uh, I mean, uh, can we talk about a real democracy when the mass media are at the hands of people. Modern democracy. Uh, communications, media has always been considered to be central. It's rather under-theorized, that's my sense. Uh, and broadly speaking, uh, I, in my own research, I have tried to emphasize uh, two possible ways of interpreting uh, this subject. One is uh, originally the idea of Alex of uh, the early modern period until now. Uh, we can speak about a long, protracted, extended democratic revolution, as Tofield called it, in which um, relationships of power become uh, more and more seen to be contingent. That means questionable. Uh, they can be challenged, they can be reversed, they can be restored. Uh, they are not God-given, they are not somehow natural. In modern forms of communication and uh, this process of the democratic revolution. Well, uh, there has been a very long-standing assumption that uh, the printing press, books, pamphlets, the newspaper, are somehow the backbone of uh, this democratic revolution and indeed uh, that remains important but the whole analysis of the relationship between media and democracy and radio and television but the new digital telecommunications the networked uh, digital telecommunications that are beginning to to reshape to restructure uh, the way in which democracies function and I would say there is something of a crisis uh, in the old democracies. Um, and the crisis is this, that for nearly servicing a parliamentary democracy are newspapers, newspaper readership, radio and television organized according to either private market relationships or the public service model. Uh, this is breaking down. This model is breaking down for various reasons, uh, including the unsustainability of public service broadcasting and the computerized digital communications, satellite-linked uh, networks that uh, are shaking up the whole system. There is something of a technical revolution taking place, and the actually existing democracies are having to come to terms with this, uh, with this process. In my own research, I have tried to uh, analyze this contemporary process by concentrating on the topic, the public sphere. Uh, you know that uh, European civilization is the only civilization uh, in the history of civilizations to invent from within itself the language of the public sphere, of public opinion, uh, of, public, of the public good. and. Uh, and to emphasize those themes 
uh, by means of uh, technologies of communication. Uh, the question is today, what is the, the critical intellectual and political question is, what are the best uh, 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 arrangements, what are the best um, uh, uh, matrix of communications devices that can enable the continuation of the modern democratic revolution of media, a highly uneven. But uh, we do not live in a world where there is a complete concentration of means of communication to do one hand, uh, or one set of hands. Uh, rather, we have a much more dispersed system. And I think the, um, the, the critical uh, question, the really critical question, is uh, whether uh, communities of uh, state institutions and for dictatorial purposes, this is increasingly uh, becoming obsolete as a possibility. It's very difficult to sustain this kind of um, arrangement, uh, as the Chinese uh, Beijing regime is presently discovering, or whether, uh, secondly, uh, all means of communications will be subject to market uh, criteria. Some uh, third way, some kind of different uh, mixture of, uh, of market and non-market mechanisms. And in my book, The Media and Democracy, I have argued for this third possibility. Well, these are um, pressing questions for democracy because if democracy means anything, it means a certain way of life, a certain type of regime opinions in which they have to make up their own minds, they make, have to make up their own judgments about how they are to live.